Hi, my name is Matt Vialasi. I'm going to show you how I pinstripe a car. I've been doing it 35 years. This works pretty good for me. Uh, just show you how I do it. Uh, I've got tape, little guidelines up on the car. You can see um, yellow. Normally we go an inch below a feature line or the molding you can see there is a feature line. So I'm going to stripe right underneath the pinstripe I have existing. Uh, one thing i just like to mention, uh, this this car I bought new in 07, so it's about, this was 2016, so this is um, eight years old, um, nine years old, I'm sorry, and um, it sits outside 24-7. This 3M vinyl is awesome. I always try to use it because it just, the stripes look brand new, so it's a really good product. Now, again, I got yellow uh, tape marks up there. Uh, that's... A lot of us eyeball it, guys have been doing it a long time, but you know, a safe way is just right about there, put little yellow lines, and we're gonna string that up in a minute. Uh, clean the car with, uh, I use 91% isopropyl alcohol. The man, uh, 3M, that's what they want you to use. It works great. You could use 71%, but this is a little stiffer. It's got 9% water. I like this and use this. So anyway, um, that's what you should do is prep it with this uh, alcohol and then uh, put your little tape guy lines up and then I'm going to have my wife here uh, uh, film me slinging the stripe. Matt here just showing you how I stripe uh, cars. I've been doing it almost 35 years. Uh, this is a two-tone pinstripe, so I, I can't just let it off, you know, start striping off the roll like this. I have to make sure... Uh, which color I want top or bottom so I usually just forearm lengths a little bit more does most vehicles uh, we break it off and get it started otherwise you can be sit here pick 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 how do I get this uh, pinstripe there it worked pretty good off the off the backing paper it's two lines of vinyl it's got a clear carrier on it because otherwise it'll stretch if it doesn't have a clear carrier many times we just pinch it like such put our thumb through it to get the stripe going it's very fast you come up you go down and up push your thumb through it that's up and down push your thumb through to get it going anyway uh, so I just kind of the, the front fender is going downhill so it's hard to stripe going uphill so I just usually start the stripe right about here where my marker is again we usually eyeball it as you you can eyeball it some of these manufacturers are panels jog and what you do is you don't want to hold on to where there's the glue. You want to hold on where there's paper here. So, you know, you come back, pull some paper, come back, pull some paper. Now, you can string this one line, one panel at a time if you want. Typically, we go a couple panels. It's just a little bit straighter line. We come back, lay it out like so, come down and press it. And then what I'm going to do is come to the front of this panel and snap it up. Now on a real hot day, you can't snap it up like that. It'll stick and go gummy. So you should do this in the cool part of the day. And then we just come down and just follow a little bit of curve of the fender. Okay. Press it down. We'll, we'll stop the video here. Hi, this is Matt again, just showing you part two, how to trim a car or how we trim out a car. Usually we do an arrow in the front, like you see this one right here. We make our own arrow by lifting the bottom line up to the top of the line. Now I want to make a point that we use these uh, X-Acto blades, they're number 10, they're round right here as you can see. So when they're cutting, they're not, you're not sticking a point into the car. If I had a razor blade, you know, you got to stick the point into the car. You can score the car. That's the beauty of using a rounded blade. I've never had to paint a car or damage one. Uh, so this is how we do it. Uh, I, I cut the top line. I'm just going to press the rounded blade in. You can hear it almost click or you can just feel it. So you don't cut the car. You can just feel it gliding through that vinyl. So I cut the top line. I'm going to take... Remember, both these, uh, the carrier is still on this, the, steel, the, steel, the clear carrier is still on it. I'm going to come back now, gently, and I'm going to pull back, yeah, two, three inches, whatever you want. Uh, and uh, the carrier uh, keeps the vinyl piece from stretching. On a warm day, it's, you know, otherwise it's going to be, it'll stretch. You don't want that. So what, what you do then is, 
my right hand is going to press as my left hand is gently moving this up to meet the top piece of vinyl, just like so. I'll do that again. Just bring it up, just like that. That's how we do it. The further you come back, the more gradual arrow you can have, just like you see up here. Now to finish it, I'm going to go back and just click the, cut the bottom line again, then tease the backing off, pull it all the way back of the car, okay, and um, like so. Now, why don't you come up a little bit, honey? I'm going to show you how to, you know, this is how we trim the doors. Uh, we usually come back about you know eighth of an inch back now there's a couple ways to do this you can just click e each one gently or you can roll the blade like so okay I use a you know I do them both the easiest way to get the excess out is I just put the blade underneath put my finger on top pull it out done uh, so that's how and then go trim the rest of the doors as you you know after you pull the backing off Okay, uh, then you can put your logo in, you trim it here. Uh, right now, uh, putting the logo in the front fenders, probably the most popular. Sometimes I'll put them in the back. Um, as we step back here, you'll see um, where you can put your logo name. Uh, I usually come in about a length. Uh, now, this is 07 style, but you know, pick where you want it to end. And I usually, again, click. And I, I jog mine. Now now I mostly uh, jog them a little bit further than this. Uh, you know, about four fingers. And I come back. And uh, I usually come in now a full length of the blade. I'll put my graphic up. I'll trim it. You know, pretend this is the graphic. And, you know, I put it up. You can mark it with a pen, however you want to do it. You know, you make your cut. And then, again, pull up the excess like so then I come up with my decal which I'll show you how to do in a minute again here just gonna show you how we put I put graphics in uh, I pick a back part uh, of the vehicle usually when it starts curving I don't I stop it a vehicle there I stop the stripe there because even if you put it on straight it seems optically to look like it's crooked so whenever a vehicle starts curving that's what I'll make my end cut and uh, uh, th this one I did in 07, we call this jogging the stripe. W nowadays, a lot of us, well, I do, I, you know, I jog it a little bit bigger. I think it looks nice, about four fingers. And what I do is uh, I come in now a whole thickness from tip to cap, and I'll put my graphic up like so, okay? And I'll, I'll match this angle of the Y, and I'll, 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 I'll just hinge this up. See how I'm just flipping this up? I put my blade where I want it. I hinge this up. I didn't move my blade. Okay, so I, I make this cut gently. I just roll it. I put my graphic back down. I come back to the left here, put my blade where I want it, and then lift the graphic up so my blade hasn't moved. Make my cut. Now all I have to do is take out the excess. So I, I like to put my... Uh, blade underneath put my finger on top it's the easiest way to do it pull it up okay I like to wipe in case some you know debris got under there now you take the graphic hi this is Matt again just showing you how we put our uh, graphic decals on in a stripe uh, sorry that cut off uh, again we put it up make it put our leave our knife here swing this up make our cut bring it back down Come over here, pull the graphic without moving the blade, make our snip, take it out. Okay, now I'm going to put this uh, decal on. It comes on a carrier paper too. Sometimes it might not want to come up. As you can see this, the carrier paper, you want to pull the graphic off the paper. So, you know, give it a good rub. Uh, sometimes it's still being obstinate. You just press it like so to get it started on the carrier. That's what we do, and then it'll come off. Okay, so again, it doesn't want to come off. Just work it a little with your thumb and get it started, then it'll come off. Try not to handle it too much. And, sorry, so now I put it up here. I'm watching the left side, I'm watching my right side. I line it up where I want it. Okay, you press one side down. In this case, I press the right side down. 
I'm gonna watch and make sure this left side stays in the center, the eight, you know, it's centered. You can put a piece of masking tape under, that works great. Okay, so now what you do is, I've got the left hand side of the graphic up, so when I'm taking my thumb and I'm, I'm moving across, I'm driving the air out. It's got some place to go if you leave this up in the air. You don't just lay it down and press it, it'll have bubbles. So you, you lift it up and slowly drive the air, leave a place for the air to escape, okay? Rub it down, pull your carrier down at a 45 degree angle. I mean, you can go this way, but it just seems to work better, not wanna pull anything. 45 degree angle, okay? Press it down, there you go.